Good day, guys. Welcome back. It's Brian Bowles speaking again. Um, I know some of you have uh, invested into Cryptoware, and uh, I don't know anything at this stage uh, whether the website will come back. But to, today, guys, I just want to uh, share with um, what my business partner, Mike Klingler, shared. A, pre a wonderful presentation of of the peer-to-peer -peer Ethereum uh, smart contract that we are uh, constantly, as a team, and we're supporting each other, helping each other, uh, supporting and giving the uh, the resources to be able to magnetically connect and attract the audience that you want to be able to attract. And at the same time, uh, help grow your Ethereum and help uh, those who connect to you. And we teach you those marketing principles, how to do that. But Mike's going to show you why uh, uh, this smart contract, Ethereum smart contract, uh, is the lowest risk of uh, any of those these other programs and these other programs can uh, be ten potential uh, to grow some of your crypto but of course you need to be very wise with them because unfortunately um, like in this case uh, if the market swings down and it goes into a dip anything is possibly uh, can happen particularly when there's uh, not uh, a contract agreement uh, done then of course uh, if everyone's pulling their money out at once um, it makes it uh, very hard for them to keep running the program so anyway I'll pass you over to Mike now and I uh, highly encourage you to listen uh, right through to what Mike's got to share um, we as a team have been growing um, our Ethereum uh, since around about uh, October last year and as a team uh, collective Mike will share uh, what uh, as a team and uh, I look forward to connecting with you real soon so they can catch catch us there all right and uh, and one sec guys let me um Make sure I got something here that I can access. No, that's not it. Be right back. Okay. How's everyone doing tonight? Good. Oh, yeah. I see this. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm going to do this training. Yeah. What did he say? What did he say? Pardon me while I'm eating dinner. Oh. oh yeah, go ahead and enjoy. Oh, that's right. It's earlier for you. <laughs> a little earlier for Lark too, and I think an hour central, right, Lark? Correct. Yep. Yep. So, guys, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I, I try to get my camera working again. It just won't. So uh, we'll have to just uh, do this. Okay, but you guys can hear me, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. So, um, so Joy, I'll let you kind of kind of frame this. I mean, you you hear me repeating the same things over and over again. You know, having a lot of success with this isn't complicated. Uh, I think it is mostly, and we hear it so much, so I almost hate to say it again, but it's mostly mindset. <laughs> it just is. I don't know. We just can't. Sorry, guys. <laughs> just we can't help it. It's what it is. You, you decide you want to be really really successful with this and make a ton of ETH with it. And you just don't pay attention to all the people in between that don't have anything to do with that goal. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more time to, to attract and connect with the people who want to join you in that aim, right? It's like it's not rocket science, it, it, you know. But you know, I don't know. I think that's a decision, right? Like, do how how much does somebody want to focus their thoughts all day on growing? Equal? 
right? And the more you do that, obviously we've got a vehicle here to do it. We've got a duplicatable system to do it. Obviously the person that does that most is going to grow the most ease. I mean, it really is all it comes down to is a simple duplicatable process. And some people, you know, I think uh, Joy uh, today, we had a little bit of a conversation about it. It had come up before. I think we kind of hit an even stronger point of it today and where she said, um, and a lot of people feel this way. And I know I felt this way at different times of my, of my career where she didn't really want to post things too direct about money or making ETH or make, you know, or any of that, because it just, it was like awkward uh, to put that message out as like a main message. It's like, I totally kind of get that because I've been there. And yet, obviously that's going to be a major, you know, like massive difference in result compared to someone who says, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and make a lot of ETH and look for my team who's going to make a lot of ETH. And I can't really hear anything else going on in the world right now. Obviously that person's going to have a massive advantage. And it's really all that it comes down to because we got the system, we got the process. No one can pull the rug out from underneath us on this. It's really all it comes down to. We got the tools to do it, you know, but it's, it's a choice, right? It's like how much ETH you want to make, how fast you want to make it. It's really what it all comes down to. Yeah. So, so Joy, you, you hear me say that over and over again in a thousand different ways. So I'll hand it over to you to kind of guide me, you know, to, to how I can be of assistance. Right. And I, and I think this is probably going to be, and thank you, Mike, this is probably going to be more, I guess, interactive with everyone because I, right now I can't see anything but the screen. Um, and I know that a lot. Because this isn't about me, right? Like it's just, <laughs> about, it, it's not like guys. It's, I'm not connection when I see people. I'm, you know, I'm not going to do it for anybody. Right. But I can tell you exactly what I did and exactly how I did it. That's all okay. I can do. Okay. So that's what I would want. And I do want to also just add to what you said, Mike, just for the rest of everyone that's on here. And I can't see anybody right now, but it's so important. And what you said about mindset and Jen and I have had a lot of conversations about that with everything that's in between our ears is so important to our success. And you know what, Mike, I knew, like I knew that I needed to put the, the post that I was going to do guys was about the success I've had with Forsage so far. And it was a dollar amount and I got very uncomfortable with it. And I am so happy that, that Mike gave me that feedback because if I'm playing a smaller game, like I, I always remember my dad saying to me, like, never keep yourself smaller than what, you know, like diminish your achievement to make somebody else feel more comfortable. Right. Inspire them. Like, you know, when you're putting out your achievements, it inspires other people. So thank you for sharing that, Mike. I don't know if that's, is that Rebecca? You might have to mute. If, yeah, if you have background noise, just mute. But what I wanted tonight, Mike, is really if you can just perhaps share exactly what you do. Uh, I know we have some new people on on the call tonight, but also I don't know if you're open to taking questions because there might be some questions uh, from the team tonight as well. T totally. I just want to forewarn everybody. If you ask a question that's outside of what I did, what I thought about what I do, like I, I can't answer it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, if it's outside of what I did that got the results, outside of what I think about what I asked, I won't be good at answering it. And so I'll try, but I'll always preface it with, I never asked that question. And it's not that there's any bad questions. I think ask away, but it, you know, I think the, 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 the strongest, I think, point that I, and gift I can give for those that really want to make a lot of Ethereum and have a blast and totally change your financial life with this thing, I think the, the biggest point is just, there's a process here. I know it really, really well, obviously. It's made over 850 ETH since October. It's helped the team make over 12,000 ETH since October. Many of these people never made any money in any program they were in for over 10 years before. Like, obviously, something's working. And I know what that something is. And you'll hear me talk about it over and over again. It's, it's like stupid simple. Uh, but what often people do is they don't like it. <laughs> they don't like what that is. And so they think about other stuff. <laughs> And they're like, but, hey, but what about this? Or I have a question about that. And I'm like, I, I bet that's a really smart question. I have no idea. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't fit in my system. You know what I mean? So, you know, you can make it as difficult as you, as you want, but there is a really simple process here. So do you want me to start with that, Joy? Just, you know, what I did and, and, uh, and then we open it up to questions. 
That would be great. And also, Mike, you know, the the longevity of Versage as opposed to so many other things that are going on out there and why yeah, it's so important totally. to really run with it. Yeah, I think I'll start there because there will okay. be lots of stuff going on, lots of noise. Um, yeah, so let's 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 start there. So, you know, Versage being an Ethereum smart contract, the reason why that's a big deal is because it can never be changed, it can never be altered. Uh, no one can pull the rug out from underneath this. Contrary to what anyone ever tells you, it's not a pyramid. It can't collapse. It's not what it is. It's like a utility. It's like software that just runs. And we can continue to build value into it and around it. Now, the Versage, Versage organization, whoever you know those people are, and you can go YouTube, find them on YouTube, who built the Versage smart contract, they can't even change the smart contract. You know, And that's the thing about smart contracts, and that's why... Everyone's so excited about where Ethereum is going because of these smart contracts that can be built, programmed on the blockchain. So it's like these decentralized contracts that work the way they're written, they work the way they're supposed to, you can trust them. Human error or mismanagement of money or mismanagement of whatever can't happen with smart contracts. They just work the way they're supposed to. And that's why Ethereum has the potential to be so big because as more and more of these are created, now they don't work for the consumer market very well right now because the gas prices are too high, but those are going to go way, way down. Ethereum 2.0 is coming out. And as that gets implemented, it's going to take transaction fees down by thousands of times. It's going to increase the speed by thousands of times. And then the consumer market will start using smart contracts. This is like one built for opportunity, the opportunity niche. It's like one of the most advanced smart contracts that have been out there. It's programming over the blockchain. But what's important to understand is nobody can change it. Versage can't even change it. We don't even need Versage. The site could go down. They could decide to do something else. And we can still use the smart contract. It's as simple as just sending the right amount of funds you know, to purchase a certain level in the contract to, a, to the contract I, uh, address, like you're sending... Uh, Ethereum to somebody's wallet and voila, it opens it up and it pays properly through that compensation. What this means is we can continue to build value around this. Like we've talked before about how we're going to create products that you can give to somebody who purchased the different levels. We can create all kinds of value ongoing indefinitely. It also means that when we hit the bear market and kind of getting to, to Joy's point about these other programs that are out there, that are, there's going to be a ton of them during this, this bull market. There always is where you can put your crypto into a program. It's not in your control anymore. They're promising to trade it for you. It could be Forex. It could be, they're, they could say they're doing mining, trade, you know, or trading, whatever trading they're doing with their trading bots. And they're paying you these daily returns. Those are extremely high risk. They will always be extremely high risk. It doesn't mat matter what the story is. It doesn't matter what they say. Yeah, some of them are more risky than others. Uh, but they're all going to end at some point pretty dramatically and run off with everybody's crypto. That's just what they're set up. They can't end any other way. That is not this. This is the opposite. Of that. Uh, this, yes, you know, we have to acknowledge. Like people get confused because we say there's no risk here. They're going, oh, well, you know, I have to buy. I have to, I have to pay crypto to participate. It's like, yeah, you have to buy levels in the smart contract to participate but you buy it once and then you can continue to make the Ethereum over and over and over again. And that Ethereum is paid into your wallet. You don't have to log into somebody else's website and request that they send it to you. It is sent directly to your wallet. Major difference. We're not giving our crypto to somebody to trade for us and to pay us these daily returns that we may or may not ever see. So dramatically different. And I tell people, because right now that, you know, these high risk high yield programs are all the rage and so I tell people, and I've attracted, by the way, guys, I've attracted some really big producers lately that are making a lot of, you know, crypto in those high risk programs, but I've attracted them by speaking to them, by participating in that, but putting a big fat warning label on them. So I'm providing a little value as I do that. And I've attracted some of these top producers by speaking about it. And I was able to compare and contrast what Versage is to what those are and help them see for the first time. Because a lot of them, because they're, they're top producers in the industry, they'd heard of Versage before, but now for the first time, they were really really able to understand the benefit of Versage uh, in when we compared it to those high-risk, high-yield programs that they're in. Because Versage isn't trading, it allows us to say, look, 
Versage isn't trading your crypto for you. They're not promising these high returns. We're simply purchasing these slots in the smart contract. And that once you do, you never have to purchase it again. You continue to make crypto over and over again from sales of that level. We can continue to build more value into it. So if you invest into your team, if you invest into that value, if you make it valuable by being a part of it, nobody can pull the rug out from underneath. They can't in. And I'm having a lot of really successful people that are doing really well in those high risk, high yield programs who finally can hear the message uh, by making that comparison and they're coming in. I just had a guy come in yesterday at level six in the X3, X4 and X4 at the same time. And right now he's signing up somebody as we speak uh, at the same levels. He, he's making a bank right now in Burex, one of these high risk, high yield programs. I think he's making like, I don't know, some ridiculous amount because he got in early, but he knows it's going to end. And I keep telling people like that, like you don't want to just be doing that when that ends. You want, you want to be able to explain to people what the story is, like what the reality is, and, and to give them a path they can run on that's sustainable, that they can continue to run on so the rug isn't just pulled out from underneath you. So Versace just, it, it doesn't have any of those hangups, any of those issues. It's extremely exciting from that point of view. And when we do hit a bear market, guys, and we will, the cycles always come and go. We're going to hit a bear market. It could be in three months. It could be in seven months. It's supposed to be somewhere in that range. When the bear market starts to hit, and uh, in the, in the market's going to go down for another 18 months or another three years, uh, we're going to be able to keep on trucking. We're going to be able to keep on making ETH. And I look forward to the gas prices coming back down a little bit. You know, before Ethereum 2.0 makes them, uh, uh, you know, a thousand times, thousands of times less. I look forward to just there being that low moment in the market where we can collect a lot of ETH with this to really get ready for the next bull market where we sell a lot of that ETH. <laughs> so I, I just, it's night and day when you compare this to just about anything else out there right now. Uh, and it, it's just a great opportunity to be able to help people understand. You say, oh, we have this high risk, this high risk stuff going on, I explained to people. And then there's like this low to really no risk method that we're using to generate ETH. You know, which would you like to hear about? You know what I mean? And it just works really, really well at helping them understand like what the value of this is. I'm going to go ahead and I think everybody's seen my account, but I'm just going to pull up my top account. Yeah, Mike, I don't think everybody has. I have a feeling Lark hasn't yet. Probably yeah. Travis hasn't. Yeah. Maybe Rebecca hasn't. Yes, there's a lot of people that they, they haven't yet. Okay, I'm not going to open up all my accounts. Which one is this? So this is one of the new ones that I just, I have six accounts. I do not recommend that for most people, guys. Wait till you have a lot of success with one before you, you know, do that. Because otherwise you're spending way too much money. Uh, but once you, you're, you're making it, you'll start to see those kinds of opportunities. That, that should be my top account right there. Let me see. So this looks right. right. So I won't open them all up. I'll just open up the top one, but the top ones generated the most combined it's about 850 somewhere in there ETH that I've generated since October. This one's generated 351 ETH. And then my other two accounts directly under this, not much behind that. One thing that's interesting guys is you'll see X gold, not far behind what it made in X3 and X4 and X gold launched just like a month, you know, like six weeks ago. So in six weeks, this has generated 106 ETH, X3, 124 ETH, X4, 120 ETH. It's kind of interesting. And so I actually think X Gold, after the same amount of time, will, will surpass X3 and X4 because there's a lot more payment circles. You know, when you look down here, there's just a lot more payment circles that can pay you so that you get that higher leverage as it grows, it just needs a little bit more time to grow for that all the payoff because these are paying more up front. So they're going to pay faster. But so, you know, guys, I, I have a really specific process, you know, that allowed us to do really well. And it has to do with Facebook. And so again, you don't have to duplicate what I'm doing or you can take what I'm doing and kind of reapply it in some other way. That's totally cool. Just know that like I'm, a, I'm an expert at the way I do it. I can share that when we start to get outside of that, your guess is as good as mine. You know what I mean? So you can duplicate exactly what I'm doing if you don't want to take any risk of like having to reinvent the wheel. Uh, 
you know, I kind of pieced all this together based on like other masters in the industry. Like uh, Joy knows Robert Hollis. A lot of you probably know Robert Hollis and My Daily Choice. Like I would have never used Facebook Messenger if I hadn't met and worked with Robert Hollis, but it's ingenious. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Robert Hollis does really, really well. You know, last I saw, he had like a $200,000 a month check coming in with MDC. And, he, you know, he swears by this, this Facebook Messenger strategy. So I integrated that into what I'm doing now. And it works really, really well. So let me, uh, I don't think I'm showing my screen. Okay, so I probably have about 300 messages in here from people saying, you know, I'd like to learn more about how you're generating Ethereum. And, you know, that's what Robert Hollis probably doesn't do as well. That's from my mastery of marketing over the years, but it's not challenging when you know what to do. And I literally tell you exactly how to do that uh, on the cash injection Facebook group. I know it looks boring, like the way I presented it. But I just don't want to take the time to make it look pretty yet because it doesn't really matter. The results should really be compelling enough. So when you look at this though, I know it looks dull and boring, but like I'm literally laying it all out in this post. But I think people just don't believe it. <laughs> they just don't believe it could be that easy. And like, I don't know, it's, it's ridiculously easy. And I also think, I mean, it just looks intimidating, right? But it's so short, like everything's in here. Like that's it, like literally. Uh, it probably takes about 10 minutes a day to do what it takes. Now it might take, 45 days of that to really get a nice flow of high quality leads coming to you. But I mean, but then they just keep on trucking, they just keep on coming. There's also something that kind of gets into the mindset side of it. And, you know, when I talk about mindset, I don't mean like how most people mean it, although it's the same thing, really. I'm more specific when I reference mindset. I'm talking about being bold. You know, like a lot of people, I just noticed they just, like, I get it. There are other times in my life where I just wouldn't have wanted to be so bold about what I'm doing. Like, it just doesn't look cool. Like, the old me, which is just not cool. It's just not cool. I don't want my high school friends to see me bragging about how much crypto I made today. It's not cool. I don't care anymore what they think. And so it's, it's a boldness. Like, the people I want to attract care about how much crypto I made yesterday, and they want to know about the system that I'm using that, that's doing it. And so that's what I got really loud about. And so this is laying out exactly what to do, guys. Can you guys sh show me your hands? Like how many of you knew that this post was here laying out exactly how I'm generating all the leads? So I see two hands up. I'm not seeing everybody. Three. So how many people have like really done it though? Like you're really doing this and you're like just- I, think I am. <laughs> So, you know, and maybe that's what we should do is like, go look at your page and, and see, you know what I mean? When we're yeah. done here. Yeah. I've got a business page that I've been building and then I have my personal page. And that was one of my questions was how do you do them both? And do they look the same? And, you know, like. Yeah, I, yeah, mine, mine, do look, mine do look the same because I just don't want to think, you know, so much. So we'll go look at that. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll go look, you know, let's look at your page in a little bit, both of your pages and uh, I'll, I'll pass you over the screen. And so go ahead and pull them up just so you're ready to show us those screens. Uh, you know, just have two tabs open. Uh, so, but guys, so we'll, we'll look at that because that's the beginning of this, right? The beginning of the system is make sure you have a lot of really, when I say good prospects, I mean people who want to make a lot of crypto. Uh, they want to know a system for making a lot of crypto. Um, and they just don't have any issues around that. You know what I mean? Like that's just what they, they'd love to do that. That's a good prospect. And so the, the, you know, it's super important to get it set up where you've got lots of those people coming to you. You know, otherwise, like, I don't know what else you do. <laughs> otherwise you have to chase people or I don't know what you do. <laughs> you know, like call up my sister and I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Hey sis, um, I know you're like, you're really like nervous about everything you set out to do and they're super needy. I love you so much, but <laughs> it's not going to work out. <laughs> it's not going to work out. She's going to lose. She's going to pay a bunch of money and the next day be 
crying about how I just signed her up into something and she lost all her money and she knew she shouldn't have listened to me. No, there's certain people you should not be getting into this and they don't show up though. Like those people don't show up when you're posting boldly about how much crypto you made and you've got a system going on and to reach out. You know what I mean? The right people reach out, but you got to be putting those kinds of posts out. So we'll look at that. That's the beginning of the funnel. And then there's what I had open here. Then there's the conversations. And uh, I mean, all of these people I had the, pretty much the same exact conversation with, you know, that I enrolled into this thing. I'm, I'm really, and I'm just looking for when it's like in process now. They all basically look the same. Like you can see, here's the slow lane, the middle lane, the fast lane costs. After I send that, I basically say the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, most people that I work with come in at level six. Uh, and I have, you know, plenty of people who come in lower. Yeah, we won't listen to all these audio messages, but I've actually shared all of these in the cash injection group. And I am going to find like a more organized way to show all these messages that I send. And I'm even trying to set it up where you could just forward them to people. Like you'd say, yeah, hey, I work closely with Mike and, you know, uh, go ahead and just listen to this message really quick. And I'm trying to set it up that way. But in the meantime, like I'm sharing with everybody what I'm saying and the exact process that I'm using, it basically all starts right here. You know, someone reaches out, hey, Mike, I've been following you for a few. Now, some of these people have followed me for a few years. Just understand that most of the people that I've signed up, I've never heard of before. But, you know, I, you are going to get this when you start doing this attraction marketing thing. Like, there's going to start to be people that, like, I don't know him, but there'd be people that, you know, have been following you for a while. But just know that I've got 300 messages in here of people that are interested. A lot of these, like, I just haven't, I haven't followed up with or they're like halfway through. And if I go way down here, is this even gonna let me? I have some that are like three months old in here. Dustin said, you know, hey, can I help you work those? And it seems like a really good idea. Now he's mentioning to Dustin, what makes this really effective is that you get a bunch of people who've reached out and you don't necessarily have time to follow up with them all. And then they reach out again and they reach out again and they reach out again. And I start to notice the ones that are reaching out multiple times. And obviously they're going to be highly qualified. You know what I mean? So I kind of don't want to like pass them off to people because I'm letting that all work itself out. And for the best ones to be the noisiest ones that I end up being the ones I follow up with. And that's what I'm really trying to teach everyone how to duplicate because you really can. And it's just, you know, obviously you're just totally in the driver's seat once you do that. And by the way, then it carries over to every, once you know how to do this, it carries over into whatever programs you want to promote. We just always have a line of people who just want to join you. But that's all part of it. If I pass them off to people, first of all, it takes me a huge amount of time administratively. Second of all, guess who they're going to follow up with with questions anyway? Me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it just doesn't work. Uh, that does work for uh, cold market leads. Like if you're doing advertising and we got a bunch of leads coming in, we might do co-ops or something like that. And we're moving to all that, but we need to get, like, I'd like to get these audio messages that I send to everybody organized and just get it a little bit more perfected before we really blow up the automation on the lead generation. But just know that right now, following what I'm teaching in here, you guys can get a line of people coming to you that are perfect leads. So many people want crypto. And if you're talking about it and you're being bold about it, they're going to they're gonna come to you. They're going to start reaching out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, say, basically sending them the same thing every time. And again, I keep sharing what that is. We will package that a little bit better, but if you want to know what those audio messages are, you definitely, it's easy to find out. You know, I keep passing that information along and what I send, uh, is always the same. So at the beginning, I'm always sending these two videos, you know, and all I'm doing is saying, here's two videos, you know, the first one's a quick promo. Uh, watch it and understand the webinar. The webinar goes into the team building strategy. You know, the team building strategy is really why this part of that the system that's making this work so well. You know, that's what the second one is. I just kind of reiterate it. And then I just wait to hear back from them. And if I never hear back from them, I don't follow up with them because I would rather just be posting new content that brings more people to me and wait for them to follow back up with me. And let me look at this. Yeah, so I posted this on January 24th. He didn't respond to February 7th. I didn't even notice. You know what I mean? And then he came back and I'm sorry, it takes me so long to respond. And then, uh, you know, and then I, he says he watched it. Now I have, these are basically just talking about the team building strategy and making sure that he knows he needs to make some commitments to me if he's going to enter into the team building strategy, right? Uh, and, and those commitments, things like, 
If he gets a sale placed underneath them, he's going to take that Ethereum and upgrade. In fact, even a sale that he makes, he's going to take that Ethereum to upgrade till he gets to level 10 in the X3, X4, and X Gold. And I also have them commit to uh, even having to pay an extra 0 0.025 ETH because this is the way the math works out where those first two signups that they get in order to upgrade to the next level, it takes an extra 0 .2, a 0 0.025 ETH. Again, guys, you know, it's all in. I keep passing this forward. If you want to learn it, it's not hard. It's super duplicatable. Uh, I, all I'm saying is I want them to commit to what they're supposed to do. I don't just want to sign them up because it's the team building strategy doesn't work if they're just if, like, if someone comes into level six, and I put a level six underneath them and they don't upgrade right away. That's the other thing they're committing to do it quickly. Uh, it's just, it all kind of just dies on a vine. If they pocket that ETH, for example, like obviously that'd be not effective. <laughs> like it's not exciting. Like why would I give them a sale if they're just going to pocket it and we don't hear from them and they're not like paying attention. Like, you know, so I'm making them make these commitments up front to the team building strategy, you know, and every once in a while, someone will ask me for the detailed compensation plan video. So I'll send that. And then we're on to what level do they want to come at? you know, and then I'm pasting this, but it's the same every time. And, uh, you know, anybody that wants to learn that, I know that I have no doubt they can, we will have the audios where you could just forward them pretty soon, but it's obviously better if you're doing your own audios, but if, for those that aren't comfortable with that, they can just say, well, here's Mike, my business partner. Let me forge an audio message here and help you understand, you know, what's going on. You know, he's made 850 ETH in just four months with this thing. He's got a really good system down. So I partnered with him and then you just forward him my message. So that's where it's going. But, uh, but don't wait for that because it really is a really casual, candid process, simple process. And that's basically it. And they're telling me what level they want to come in at. And then, you know, generally I will send them then to, to this um, getting registered page, you know, where it's showing them how to download MetaMask, showing them how to, you know, set up their exchange account, how to get a Ethereum in their MetaMask, you know, real step-by-step -step process. That's always the same. Uh, I even need, you know, I've gotten to the point now where I'm forwarding my own audio, so I don't have to say the same thing over and over again. So first step, getting good leads coming to you. Second step, this process of sending them two videos and then helping them, making sure they're committing to the team building process, their part in it. And then uh, some of them might ask for the compensation plan video, but basically next step, finding out what level they're gonna come in at. Then the next step, sending them to this registration page so they get their MetaMask set up and get the proper amount of Ethereum in it. And then I help them sign up, you know? So it's the same process every time. Uh, and that's the pipeline, that's the funnel. I think of it as a conveyor belt. So, I mean, it, it, I think one big mindset piece that's not just generic mindset, but really specific is I look at this as a conveyor belt. And I'm either doing something to get people on the conveyor belt, which is I'm making a post, you know, let's go to my Facebook and then we'll look at Dustin's Facebook. But let's look at what this looks like, you know, in real time here. You know, I, I literally, after talking, you know, what's funny is, and this actually came from my conversation from Joy, what's funny is I'm constantly making posts based off of conversations I'm having with the team. You know what I mean? It's like, if they're conversations worthy of having with the team, then they're conversations that I want to have on my page. So I'm attracting people that fit on the team. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people are like, well, nobody will understand that. Nobody that follows my Facebook will understand that. And it's like, yeah, because you have to change who's following you on Facebook. <laughs> and you do that by posting content that will attract <laughs> people to your page that will understand it. You see, that's the thing. That's the shift that a lot of, a lot of people just don't get. I know Jeremy James, he was really struggling with it. He's like, he, kept, he just wouldn't do the, the process because he, he just kept saying to me, but like, I don't understand how that's going to work because nobody on my page will understand that. I have to like change it so that my audience will understand it. I hear that all the time. Somebody else, she's in, you know, the corporate world has a really high paying, high management position in the corporate world. And she like keeps changing everything so dramatically for her audience. And I'm like, no, your audience is the wrong audience. You want to put the content on there that's going to attract the right audience. Uh, that's what a lot of people don't understand. And the Facebook algorithms are set up where if you start doing that, I say it could take about 45 days, but 
you'll start to build up that momentum and you're telling Facebook what your page is about. And based on who does start to interact with it, it will show other friends of friends of friends that content who match, you know, the, the, the avatar or the criteria for the kinds of people that are the right prospects who are engaging with that content. And it starts to expand. And pretty soon you have a page full of people who follow you that like that kind of content. It's just how it works. You know, that, you know, it's not a chicken or egg, you know, dilemma or, you know, confusing question. It's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, you have to put the content out first that attracts the right audience. That's how it has to go. That way. <laughs> it has to start there. And you have to be consistent and bold. Uh, so, you know, and I'm constantly saying things that speak to the kinds of people I want to attract. You know, the more you speak directly to your, in your content. Now, at first, you're not going to get a lot of engagement. If you just get one, that's telling the, that's informing the Facebook algorithms. It will expand from there. Uh, the more you speak directly in your content to those who already get it, like I'm speaking really niche, uh, generating ETH, you know, that I shared Robin Lynn's uh, webinar, which all of you could have shared as well. Here I'm talking about impatience. Of course, nobody really understands what I'm saying, but it doesn't matter. Like I'm not literally saying you need to wait 30 years for your stock to come in. Uh, keep in touch with your Aunt Sally. I mean, I've actually been hitting this very discussion a lot lately, haven't I? I said, keep in touch with your Aunt Sally, an old high school pal somewhere off of Facebook. Use Facebook to attract a, attract a crowd of people. Like, I'm, it's funny how much of my posts have been about this. And then here's, you know, about crypto. Like, you're seeing the, you know, the message. Now, I'll speak here about these high-risk programs. Uh, someone brought me Burex about a week before it launched. I said, no way. I don't want to lead that. Like, I don't want to lead these high risk, high yield programs. And then uh, I saw a big percentage of my community getting into them and a huge percentage of the entire opportunity market getting into them. I was like, I better change my message. Like, I'll probably think I sound like, you know, like some prude who says, you know, no, 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 don't do that. It's like, you know, they stop listening to you. It's like, you know, the parents telling the 16 year olds not to have too much fun. It's just like, you know, you're not going to get very far. So, you know, you've got it. If you're a marketer, you've got to notice what the market's doing. And I decided to change my tactic. And uh, this is something that I've said for years. And I don't know if you guys know Jason Cardamone, but he used to get really scared when I said it. And now he totally embraces it. Uh, if you can't beat him, join him. Like I don't, I would never promote these high risk high yield programs as I, I would never lead with that. Like when they introduced me to Burex before it launched, I was like, no friggin' way. Am I gonna have anything to do with that? But they, but then when so many people are doing it, like clearly I have to change my approach. And, and so once I saw, okay, here's how I'll frame this. Here's how I'll provide value and address what's going on. I'll tell people, hey guys, these are extremely risky. Now I enjoy them about as much as I enjoy going to the casino. And I used to enjoy doing that a lot more. Uh, I wouldn't like encourage a lot of people to do it, but if people are doing it anyway, uh, then I'm going to speak to it. And this has allowed me to attract a lot of really good people, like I was talking about earlier and get them into Versage. Now I do enjoy making the high returns, but like cryptoware, super high risk, a Burex, it's gonna end that at some point. They just do. It's how the model set up. There's no way they can sustain those high returns forever. But because they have, uh, they hold people's principal for 20 days or 45 days. It's a much more stable model. It will last a lot longer. Like for example, two days ago, Bitcoin and Ethereum took a deep dive, right? And everyone got scared. Like, oh, the market's crashing. If everybody runs to take their money out, cryptoware, and they can because it doesn't have those contracts. What seems like a benefit where you don't have to hold your money in there actually ends up making their model unstable. Obviously, when they see all these people t taking all their balances out, it can cause them to freak out and you know want to close shop. Uh, beer acts, you can't do that. And so the, the market calms down and they just keep on trucking. The day will come, though, when we hit a bear market where beer acts won't be able to sustain itself. They say that's three to seven months away. You never know exactly how far to be away but uh, that's what a lot of the smart people are saying, three to seven months. But uh, that allows me to have that conversation. I decided, well, instead of telling people don't do them, I'll just have a deeper conversation about them. I'll play around with them. Uh, I'll start making some passive, knowing very well they're risky and uh, have that, that conversation. And it's allowed me to attract a lot of people in the market 
that are really big producers that are making a lot with those, but know very well that they don't last forever and that they need to do something more sustainable. But again, all of this is speaking directly to the types of people that I want to attract. Growing Ethereum passive, fast, and daily, that was the same strategy. That's what allowed me to sign up. This is the conversation allowed me to sign up the guy that came in at uh, level six and X3, X4, and X gold the other day. Uh, you know, and so I hit that hard. Once I decided to, I hit that market hard. Uh, those who are results oriented, who decide here and now to become results oriented, I'm constantly talking to a niche audience. You guys can look at what I post and tweak it, but just, you know, don't tweak it so dramatically that you're no longer talking to the ideal audience anymore. You know what I mean? Like you want to change the wording. You don't want Facebook to see you copying or they will penalize you uh, if it's word for word copying or too much copying, but you don't have to have the experience and, and knowledge if you look at my page to know what kinds of content you should be talking about and who it's talking to, who the audience is and change it, but don't change it so much. You're not attracting the same audience anymore. If we go way down here, I did a funny one where I was doing a snow angel in the, in the snow. <laughs> that was crazy. We had our electricity out for several days. So, you know, it's all here. Uh, this is showing you exactly what kind of content attracts those kinds of people. And it's not, be, you know, people will think, well, your page is already, you know, got all these followers that are like, that understand that content. It's like, no, I attracted those people with this kind of content. That That's the secret to it. So let's look at Dustin's page now and anyone else's uh, afterwards that started this. Cause I really think it's where it starts. If you have a line of people coming to you that are the right kinds of people, you know, I think the rest is pretty easy. You know what I mean? Like if you have a line, a lot of people who want to join you uh, or at least asking the right questions and the right kinds of people that are drawn to this kind of content, you know, the rest is pretty easy. You send them the two videos, you make sure they're making a commitment about the team building strategy because you're going to obviously be making a commitment to them. And you ask them what level they want to come in at. Pretty simple. Uh, so Dustin, I'm going to uh, go, can you go ahead and I guess I have to stop sharing my screen so you can share yours one, one second here. Okay, so Dustin, you should see the ability to change your screen. Let's see. Yeah, let's see that not yet yeah do you see something that says share, share screen there you go there we go so this is my the business page let's look at your profile first okay and i say that because profiles are more powerful than business pages yeah and they're more powerful. The Facebook algorithms favor them significantly. They on the business pages, they want you to pay for most of your, you know, your uh, visitor. But you know, like I talk about in the cash injection post, you could do boosted post ads, and that, you know, you can just do a dollar a day if you have a real strict budget. And a dollar a day will just if you have constantly have it running, will be growing your business page. And a lot of those best people will end up following you at your profile as well. Go ahead and scroll down just a little bit there. You're, you know, because the picture and the branding on your end is awesome. Oh, you have the, you have the uh, crypto image over there, so that's good. This is my primary business. So, you know, and that can be a challenge. So that's my question. Do you use this to communicate to your, you know, no. your no. primary business audience? No, I just share anytime we put anything up on Facebook or Instagram, I just share Share it on to here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, there's a good post. Now, remember, uh, so what I'm going to be looking for, of course, is these kinds of posts that are value-based. And then I'm also looking for the promotional posts because the promotional posts is where you get the result. Now, you can't only be doing promotional posts all the time, but of course, you do need them in between. So, you know, so, so far we're seeing great content that's 
the value based posts. So does this lead to like a call to action or kind of more of a value based post? So that's more of a value based post. So do we have a promotional post? Not that you would have needed to yet, but do you um, probably know the answer if there's a promotional type post that's kind of a, a bold call to action to reach out to you and sharing results you've gotten or other getting? Probably more on my pay, my business page than on here. Um, most, most of this is value add. Yeah, so the, if you only do value add, nothing will happen. Okay. Which makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, so now you wanna start throwing in those really bold calls to action. Hey, Mike. Can you go over some of the call to action? Because doesn't Facebook, if they hear, if they see certain words like DM me, don't they change the algorithm so it doesn't show up in your friend's feed? You know, they say that. And I think more with the advertising, it's an issue. I haven't noticed it on my profile though. Okay. So you do say DM me. I have seen some of your posts and it, it does say some of that sometimes. Yeah, I say like message me. Message me, yeah. Yeah, uh, and hold, hold on, Dustin. I'm going to my page really quick. Yeah. And I'm looking for like some of those. Like, yeah, so, you know, I often will even give a link directly to my messenger. And I can't remember how I found that link. I went to YouTube and said, how do I- I've seen that. I rem Robert Hollis does that, Mike. Yeah. Uh, and I've seen it on yeah. your page. What's that? And I was like, oh, I forgot to, I forget to do that. That's such a great idea. Yeah, so I'm doing that a lot. Yeah. Where I'm literally giving- Do you remember how to do that? To reach out to me on Messenger. What's that? Do you remember how to do that? I, I know we take what our Facebook profile is, right? And it's m.me. Yeah, it's in your yeah, setting. Sure. I mean, I, I just went to YouTube and searched how to find it, and it showed me how to go into Facebook and find it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was something like that. I might yeah, have it, it looks in my like Evernote document. HTTPS. I mean, you guys could look at mine and figure it out. It's like HTTPS colon slash slash M dot M E slash, and then whatever your uh, username is on Facebook. You know what I mean? So did, if you see mine, and I can't, I'm not showing my screen right now, but when you see mine on any of my posts, just add your username to the end instead of my username and it will work. And I'm gonna, uh, one second, Dustin, I'm gonna come back to, to my page. So, so yeah, so you have to have promotional posts. So Dustin, go ahead and uh, uh, let me share my screen really quick to show an example of a promotional post. Okay. So this is recent ones. So this one's more heavy on my new angle of those high risk, high yield programs to grab some of those people. But um, you can still get the feel of it here. Uh, let me see here. Share screen. You know, so this says generating passive and active Ethereum, Bitcoin and Tron daily. You know, and so you can tell I was already doing a lot of promotion because it says with so much response all across my pages and in my messenger inbox, I'm having trouble following up with everyone fast enough. So I'm sharing this below. So I had so many people reaching out and I wasn't able to follow up with hardly any of them. I went ahead and decided to give them some links into beer acts. A lot of people just don't understand what I'm doing here. I'm actually promoting Frisage. I know that almost everybody that in the industry is already in beer acts. <laughs> that's you know gonna do it like I, I did i decided not to lead that one so i'm bringing them into this because that attracts the kind of people that are already in it and you'll notice like i'm saying in here but understand the smart contract we have been using that is not passive is always going to be the lowest risk method building eth and guys you don't need to know this information to be able to do this you just look at my page and you can see what i'm doing you can write the, just rewrite, reword it. It will, and, you, and you'll sound like you know what the heck you're doing. <laughs> you're gonna sound like you've been in the industry for 20 years. 
No one's going to doubt it. It will have no, because you're speaking directly now to top producers. It will have no issues in a bear market. In fact, it may even do better. No, I'm talking about Versace here. You know, and obviously you can't say you generated over 825 ETH. So you say, you know, our team's generated over 12,000 ETH. It sounds just as exciting. And if you've generated even 50 ETH or 32 ETH, uh, that's also very exciting. If you haven't, or you have a team who hasn't, they just focus on what our team's done, which is over 12,000 ETH in the first three months with this system. But like, so let me even go further down. This is all very loud, very bold. And I, I did a lot of promotion once I realized how many people we were losing to these high risk, high yield programs in our community, losing, they're losing focus and they probably didn't even know what the risks were and stuff. I decided to talk really loudly about it. Uh, this is also an example of a, this is like a soft promotional post. And I was looking for these on your page too, Dustin. I didn't see any of these softer ones either. Another big congrats, like you guys can congratulate anyone on the team, not even, they don't have to be in your downline. You can say the exact same words as this. Another big congratulations, uh, but this time to oldest sliders for using the same system to generate 67 ETH in just his first couple months. It's over $112,000, oldest shares. I mean, you could be taking this and just rewording it slightly from my page. But that's a promotional post. Even though I don't actually ask people to reach out to me, you'll notice because I have so much already, you're gonna see some people here did, <clears throat> or at least they often do. Like someone says, I need to sign up for this. You know, I might reach out to somebody like that, you know, and say, hey, I saw you respond to my post, said you wanted to sign up. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him a snapshot of what he wrote. That's what I'll do. I'll like take a snapshot and send it to him and say, I saw you respond to my post. You know, let me know if you have any questions. That's all I would say in Messenger. I like how you reply, reply to the other one with, is recruiting necessary? Yeah, so someone writes, is recruiting necessary? Yeah. I go with this one, yes. I do have another one that is 100% passive, though for those who don't want to recruit, send me a message that says passive if only interested that one. Now, if he were to do that, let's go see if, what, if anything came of that. I have no idea. Let's see if he messaged me. It's really slow because we're on Zoom. Trying to pull up Messenger. It's not coming up. It's weird. It's not pulling up his Messenger for some reason. I think it's my computer's just bogged down right now. But if he if he didn't reach out to me, I probably would have never responded. I'm super curious if he did. Super weird that oh, here it is pulling up finally. Yeah, look, he sent me a message. I didn't even follow up. That happens a lot. <laughs> He's in the pipeline. You see? He's still in the pipeline right now. I can reach out at any time. I got tons of these. Hi, Mike. Can you send me info on the passive opportunity as well as the one with recruiting so I can see both? You see how it works? Hmm. Shazam. See, a lot of people don't know what I'm doing. Like some people in the community were like saying to Jason, man, Mike's really lost focus. It's like, uh, no, <laughs> I'm marketing. I'm attracting people into Versage because I know a whole bunch of them are thinking about Burex. And like now I get to, and, and, it, and it gave me a revelation. I was like, wow, this is actually a really good angle I never thought of to be able to compare passive versus recruiting. Most people think they hate recruiting. And now I have this great way of like showing them, no, they actually want to recruit because then they're not risking all their money. And it's happening left and right right now. So like my audio message, and again, what I'm trying to set up is an audio message you guys could just forward to people. So like, so someone reaches out to you like this because you put, you know, you see my post, you reword it a little bit, you get someone like this reaching out and you say, hey, Brian, you know, uh, I'm working really closely with Mike Klingler. Let me just forward you his audio message on this because I think it's really important for you to understand like the difference between passive and recruiting. And then you just forward my audio. And I say, yeah, so there's these passive programs out there. They sound really exciting. You know, my audio is saying this and they are as long as they're working, but you're risking your principal. Whereas we have another system that does require team building. Some people call that recruiting 
They think that's not what they want, but it's actually generating a ton of ETH and you're not risking your capital. So that's what my audio would say. And it leads up to asking them if they want to watch the two videos, which almost every time they say, yes, they do. And they're just in the same pipeline. They're in the same funnel. So, you know, I'll follow, hopefully follow up with him eventually. If I go down here, I got tons of them. It's like ridiculous. Uh, as I go way down here, there's like so many, it got like, re like, like really ridiculous. We should, uh -huh. we should study that. What's that, Dustin? You said, how often are you doing the promotional? Is it like daily, every other day, every third so day? So there's no rule like that, right? It's like, it's hard to explain in that kind of a context. It's like, if I go to a page, sometimes I can tell, okay, wait, way too much promotion. You know what I mean? Like I can tell, it, 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 but you have a lot of freedom. It's kind of like asking like, what's the best way to like, like ask, you know, ask a woman out on a date. Like, how do you approach her the first time? And then what do you do next? And what do you do next? And if it's too like clinical, it's, you're going to screw it up big time. Right. Adam, that's what I did with my wife. But if it's like, there's a bit of like a, of an energetic exchange that you have to be paying attention to. And, and, and that's the same thing here. Joy's smiling. She's seen people screw it up lots of times. <laughs> She's like, yep, they never get it right. So promotion, if you do a lot of value stuff, uh, you can all of a sudden hit with a lot of boom, 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 a bunch of promotion because you've been giving so much value. But at some point you need to pull back out of it and you know, then give a little value, do a little promotion. Like there's a lot, you just have to pay attention to like, it's, it's like an energy. It's really, you know, how, if people are responding, like if I wasn't getting any response whatsoever on my promotions, I'd stop promoting and give more value. And then I do another promotion. You know what I mean? I'm reading how they're responding. So you see here, uh, you know, here's somebody I never followed up with him. He says, you know, I sent you an inbox. Um, here's somebody else saying info, please. Now you guys could all post this. Learning to make a hundred ETH in ninety days is way easier than learning to dribble a basketball. Like anybody could say that. Look, more information, please. Info, please. Info, please. Now, even if I didn't make that much, they could be reaching out. And then, you know, again, you can reference someone else on the team. When you do a post like that and people respond to it, you can say, "Yeah, you know, Wilton. Uh, you know, I just partnered up uh, with this team." We've, they made over 12,000 ETH collectively just since October. Uh, my business partner, Mike Klingler, or you could reference Joy. Joy, how much have you made? How much ETH total? You're oh. muted. You're, yeah, I got to unmute you. All right, I'm unmuted. Uh, well, in three of my stores, about 80. And then I have three other stores. So you've probably done about 100, right? Probably, yes. But so then, you can reference, like, find a few stories. You can reference mine. You can reference Joy's. Like, it's all big enough to bring in interest. You just got to reference the good news. Like, there's good news everywhere. You can reference any of it. Uh, so I haven't followed up with most of these people. I did sign up Wilton. Oh, wow. I haven't followed up with – I did follow up with uh, Wilton, but not any of the others yet. So – if we, so how many promotions, promotional posts? Like I would just say, study my page. Like you'll see how often I do it and get a feel for it, but you don't have to like copy how I'm doing it. It's more of an energetic thing. Here's, I did sign up Ryan. He says, sent you a DM today, Mike. Looking forward to connecting again. Uh, a lot of these people like reached out a long time ago and then they like, keep chasing me. But if you go down here far enough, you're going to see some posts. I got a ton of them. Uh, and I'm not finding them right now, but there were some that was like just a huge number. Now I have a question. Yeah. So I started doing that. I set up posts to my business page, like the scheduled posts. And I started doing that where every Tuesday, it's almost like it'll automatically post a testimonial. Now testimonials, are you saying that's like half promotional? Yeah, I mean, if you're not actually asking them to reach out to you, but it's highlighting a result that you or someone on the team got, I would say that's like a soft promotion. Okay. And when you say like a call to action, do you usually put it at the top of the post where people see it first or at the bottom where they have to click more? 
I could do it both ways. I could say, reach out to me guys. If you want to learn how we're making so much ETH, you know, so that would, I, I could literally just do something like that, but that would only be in between a bunch of others. Right. So it was in context would make sense. Yeah. Uh, like if I had been spending a couple of weeks, really hitting it hard, sharing people's results, you know, I might just drop one in like that. That just says, Hey guys, if you want to learn how to make a lot of ETH and what we're doing, reach out, you know, and people that have been following and engaging Facebook's going to show the people that were engaging with those other posts for the last two weeks where I might've been posting a bunch of results people were getting and I could get a bunch of responses. But if I wasn't doing for the previous couple of weeks, if I wasn't doing a bunch of like really, you know, a lot of posts that were sharing success stories, I wouldn't get any response on that. You know what I mean? They wouldn't, understand you have to realize like you're literally talking to the people who've been engaging with your posts so if you've been doing a lot of like success story type posts you know for a couple of weeks the people who liked it and stuff are likely going to see your next post so you know if you say hey reach out to me guys if you want to learn how we're making all this eth and the system we're using the people who had engaged the last two weeks are going to see that um but yeah a lot of times i'll put it at the end the call to action you know, I'm looking for some, some, some more examples where, you know, it just takes time to go through and you guys can study everything here. It's all brought these results. It's literally hey, where the results are coming from. Yeah, go ahead. You know, you don't have any emojis. And there was a time where I was like, that's so boring without emojis, but it's so much more professional. Yeah, I mean, you know, and you guys can put your own personality into all this. You know, I, I am pretty like serious and boring. <laughs> but the cool thing about that is it attracts people that are kind of down to business. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the guy that's signing up, he just signed up two days ago and he's signing someone up right now. Like, you know, he's pretty, he's making like three ETH a day in Burex. Like he's a pretty serious guy. <laughs> You know, so here, you know, here's one with the call to action, obviously. The call to action's on the message itself. And you guys all have access to this image as well. And you see, you know, there's probably quite a few people here just messaged you. Yes, please, we'll DM you. Info, please, info, please. I'm interested. And I did sign up Java, and I think we signed up Eddie as well. And we signed up Andre. Details, please. Just signed him up like just the last couple of days. Uh, Peter, I haven't followed up with a lot of these. Just the noisiest ones. So, you know, it's interesting. Like I'm looking, you know, you see these promotional posts every once in a while. You know, here's a promotional post. But again, this is a soft promotional post. Since launch 45 days ago, my team has seen 8,169 Ethereum sent directly into the wallets. You guys can all say that. You have to realize my team is your team say the exact same thing. I think a lot of people like they think, oh, I can't say that. It's like, no, it's the same team, <laughs> same system, same process. You can absolutely say that. Uh, and like, look, 22, let's see, you know, I'm, so here's John reaching out again. He says, this is eight weeks ago. I think I just signed him up. Yeah. Like a week ago, I finally, you know, he kept chasing me. Um, there's a whole bunch of these, right? So you guys can study these, right? And kind of see what's going on and reverse engineer and basically make the same kind of posts. But um, Jordan, I think it was you saying that you had it on like, uh, you know, auto post. Like I never do auto post because it, it disconnects me from the process. I'm not saying not to do it, but it, it just, you know, it just somehow, I don't know. It's kind of like I keep coming back to like the example of, you know, dating because it's like there's 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 an energetic exchange there that's hard to make clinical. Uh, it, it's kind of like, you know, asking your having your friend ask, you know, ask someone out for you. You know, it just the, when you put distance between you and, and the and the people that you want to attract, which the automation kind of does, you run the risk of just cre they can just feel it. It's it's hard to explain. It's it's weird. Well, that that's how I feel with my business page. Like with my actual profile, I get really intimate and very personal. So like with my business page, I kind of kept it more business. And I noticed that I'm really like not too into my business page. So that was, that was the reason why I was 
I, like I've been writing all kinds of notes, like be bold. I have to be bold. I've been really soft soft like advertising or soft promoting and then like occasionally dropping crypto because I was in I'm in another company and I haven't really switched over but my mindset has really been like I need to switch over to crypto like that needs to be my main focus yeah so when you said be bold like that really struck I like I need to be and I've always I've been feeling it for the past couple of days so the fact that you said that it's just like a you have to it's be like the universe saying, yeah, you like, have, you need to be bold. You have to be willing to, like, shake all the people. And I don't mean from your life permanently. I just mean when it comes to Facebook and it comes to getting stuff done, you got to shake all the people off who just don't have anything to do with what you want. You know what I mean? They're just, they take your energy. They distract Facebook's algorithms and confuse and hit Facebook's algorithms and put the wrong people in your audience. That when you, when you engage with the wrong people, like I don't engage with my sisters on Facebook. I love my sister, but I don't want more of them on my Facebook page. I don't want more people like that on my Facebook page. I will fail in my business if it's full of people like my family. And so I don't. Well, I think them. mine was more or less just me. Like I don't really have. Like I've switched over my profile like a year ago, so I don't have people that I connect with in high school. I think I've barely have my parents on my Facebook. So like, yeah, so, so you, it's more, started, it's like more me just getting out of my own way and just being bold and really taking, you know, taking the next big step. Yeah. That's going to be key. Right. And it sounds obvious, right. And self-evident when you say it, right. Which it sounds like you already knew that everybody has to do that. Like you just, you have to, and you know, and, and Dustin going back to the content on your page. Yeah. You, you just have to have some, a lot more bolder posts. This one doesn't give a call to action, but it's a bold post is what I mean. This would have counted as a promotional post, although a soft one. Well, I think on my business page, I actually have quite a bit of bold stuff. I just, for whatever reason, haven't shared it to my personal page. So and that's common. I mean, again, I, I think that's the number one reason why a lot of people just aren't, they're not getting that big traction because of that very same thing. And again, I always speculate, like, is it, be, you know, is it because you just don't want you know, the people that have followed you on Facebook who have nothing to do with this and never will, you don't want them to see that kind of content because they don't know you that way. You know, and, and, and that's why I always say to people, it's like, it's just a decision you have to make. You know? Like, I, I just don't care. <laughs> like, I'll meet them somewhere else, not on Facebook. You know, if they're supposed to be my life, then, you know, we'll, we'll meet somewhere else. But I use Facebook for business. I use Facebook to attract like-minded people with similar type, a similar type vision and similar goals in their life. That's what I use it for. If you don't, I don't think it will be very effective. So when you run an ad, like you promote an ad though, you have to do that from your business page. How yeah. often are you doing those? Yeah, go ahead and go to your business page. Go ahead and show your screen again. And let's talk about the business page. And we'll start with that question. Oh, I have, to stop, I have to stop sharing mine. Right. Go ahead. And, and, and before I answer your question, go ahead and show me a promotional post on your business page, just to make sure we can all kind of lock in on that, you know, on what that is and make sure you got one there. Well, yeah, there's one. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, and, and just so you guys know, I want to reiterate business pages will not be even a fraction as effective as your profile. Just the way the Facebook algorithms work. And you might wonder, well, why do we use them? We use them because when people search you on Google, your profile doesn't come up, your business page does. When people, you know, so like, let's say you were communicating with somebody about crypto, like a really good, a really good prospect, and then they forgot how to find their way back to your messenger or whatever, but they, they search you. Like, you don't want to lose that person. Like you, your, your Facebook business page is going to come up. So it better be full of all the same kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's like your best prospects are going to end up there. A lot of them. Uh, also, you can only advertise from your Facebook business page. And that gets to Dustin's question. 
So you want to constantly be boosting posts to audiences. And I talk about this extensively in the cash injection group to, to the right audiences, network marketing audiences. And there's other types of audiences I've talked about uh, on that cash injection uh, post. Uh, and then that's, that's every day growing your audience. Now, how much, again, it just depends on your budget. It depends on how, you know, how much you can spend to speed things up. But I would say minimum a dollar a day boosting posts and change the kind of posts you boost uh, so that you can kind of watch and gauge which posts are getting the most traction and not just the most traction, but the most traction from the right kinds of people, which you can kind of tell by the engagement and also by how many followers and likes you're getting on your page, new followers. And so you're kind of just watching that, you're testing different ads, and if an ad does really well, you're paying a lot less to get a lot more exposure. So you keep testing different posts. Now be careful though, because some, some content might not be allowed to be advertised on Facebook. I actually got that one through, the one we're looking at right now, but it's, it's actually a violation of their policies. And I am running the risk of like having my page either penalized or taken down but I'm super curious and I've run ads so long with them, they're gonna give me a lot more leeway. So if they catch that, they're not gonna probably punish me as much as they will a brand new page that's doing that. So you wanna be careful about, you know, they don't like promotions about cryptocurrency opportunities and stuff like that. But I was curious if they're gonna let me get it through and I got that one through and I'm wondering how long it will remain. Mostly what I promote are posts that will attract network marketers, you know, that will attract people interested in opportunities. And, uh, and I, I would recommend a minimum of a dollar a day. I would net you, if you should never run less than a dollar a day. So your page is always growing. And also, so you're communicating to the Facebook algorithms, the types of people that you want to attract. Because if you're putting out content that attracts network marketers, and attracts people who understand team building and understands the excitement around various opportunities in the market and overcoming challenges. Uh, and, and they're the people that are engaging with your post because you're advertising to those audiences and they're liking it and they're following and they, and they like your page. You're now communicating Facebook's algorithms is getting the message and they're putting your content more and more and more in front of those types of people. So uh, stop right there real quick. Just posted about this and I thought I'd share a great. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, these are good posts. You'll never get a lot of traction from these. I don't either. I have 107,000 followers, 107 or 117,000 followers on my Facebook page. Almost no one ever sees my posts because Facebook wants you to pay for that. Now I used to like five years ago, <laughs> I used to be massive traction for free. Then they changed their algorithms where you have to pay for it, but you're posting this here again, because as you're engaging online, people are gonna end up on your Facebook business page, not your profile. So it better be full of the right kind of content for them. Secondly, you wanna be paying at least a dollar a day boosting posts that speak to network marketers, team builders, opportunity seekers that inspire them. So you're building your audience with them because they too will end up reaching out to you when they see these other posts on here. Your page will be growing with them. That's communicate. By the way, when they first follow your page, Facebook will show your content to those new people for a little while. So when someone's new to your page, like you were advertising a boosted post, someone starts following your page and you make a new post, those people will see your post, be more likely to see your post for a little while. So that's why you always just, you're constantly growing your audience. And a lot of those people are going to find you on your profile through there, or they're going to message you on your business page. And then I always say, I always tell them, Hey, let's start talking over here in my profile. I'm going to message you for my profile. So we, I see your messages faster. So you're going to be growing your profile with the right types of prospects when you're constantly building your fan page, your business page. So uh, are you advertising right now, uh, Dustin? Um, I've run a few for like, you know, a dollar a day for like five days. But you, you always want one, like as a minimum, you always want a dollar a day. You all, cause that's always growing your page. Otherwise your page becomes dead. So Facebook every, so your, how we always have something going then. Yeah. Otherwise Facebook will give your page no love whatsoever. Okay. 
So it's pay, pay to play on the business page. Okay. Yeah. So you always want at least a dollar a day so that you're, so that Facebook gives it a little love and it will actually give it more free traffic when you're doing that. It's also then showing your posts to the new people that just started following your page. But yeah, when you turn it off, it just kind of like nothing happens. Okay. That's what happened to me, Dustin. I, I have a page I showed Mike. I have a page that I'd love to change the name. So Mike, I don't even know if we can do that. Once we have a business page, if we can change the name, but I have a page that has like 700 followers and there's nothing going on because I haven't posted in, in like years. Right. So that's something that I want to resurrect, but I don't like the name of it. Pretty, I think it's pretty easy to change a name just when you go into edit. Yeah, I go into your settings and you can change it. The, the actual page name? Yep. Mm -hmm. it just oh. changes it in the Facebook. Facebook your... will just review it just to make sure there's no other page with that name. Uh, Dustin, what's that inbox with 19 new comments? Those are all just uh, my okay. team commenting on my posts. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So can you show me an example of a post you boosted? Uh, let's see here. Because though, if you boosted a post, even with paying very little, you should have a lot of comment or at least a lot of likes on that. And you're advertising to like a network marketing audience, right? Yeah, I basically copied the one you had shown a while back and added some more to it that I thought would be good to, to send my reach out to. Yeah, so, so show me one that got, you know, that you did for at least five days. You know, this is the most recent one. And let's look at the actual post. I think you have to click down in the lower right view ad. Yeah. And scroll down. I'm just trying to see if. And then are those people that you know? That's Rebecca. Oh, yeah. And Nicholas? No, I didn't know who he, I messaged him. Okay. And go ahead and scroll up really quick. Okay, you know, so this speaks to people who are already following you. Okay. You're not going to do well as a boosted post to people who don't know you. That's true. Okay. So let's look, show me another boosted post that you think might have gotten some traction or hit like, you know, a positive vibe with, you know, network marketers or opportunity type seekers. People looking for opportunities to, to, to make a make some changes. So again, if people don't know you, like that's not gonna be very effective, okay. right? Because they just, it's, you have to like strike a nerve, like an emotional thing first. Let's go to my page and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Go ahead. So again, guys, in case like we got too deep in the weeds before we go look at this, I just want to kind of recap that you're putting out content on your profile and business page that's attracting the right kinds of prospect. You're doing it consistently and you're doing it boldly and you can look at my page to see how I'm doing that. You just want to change the wording a little bit. You're making sure there's value-based posts, but there's also a lot of you know, like promotional posts. Some of them are really promotional where they're even giving a call to action to reach out to you. Some of them are soft promotional where they're showing like results the team is getting, talking about results you're getting, talking about results the whole team has gotten, uh, that kind of thing. And you're doing this both on your profile and your business page. Your business page, you're also doing boosted posts. So you're constantly growing your audience and telling the Facebook algorithm to keep giving your page some love so the audience grows. And, uh, you know, I have 19 new messages and comments because I have a lot of prospects that are reaching out to me for my boosted post. Now, I did run a boosted post that it's way down here, too, so I have to scroll way down, that um, I don't think Facebook's algorithms are supposed to accept. You know, it's, they don't want you advertising crypto opportunities, but it got through. I would caution you guys for doing that against doing that because it, it could create problems. 
you could try, but you would definitely want to do very different wording for me. Otherwise, I could catch it much sooner. Let me see if I can find that. But just know there is a risk there if your page is new. It's way down here. And then we'll look at the kind of posts I typically do. So you understand what I usually do. That was just like an experimental one. So here's one that I boosted. It has 107 engagements. It says, for those building teams in your business, instead of trying to hang on to people who complain, whine, blame, or who get distracted by shiny objects and far too many new opportunities, put your focus on putting out a different message to attract a new caliber of person. Obviously, people that are engaging with this are people who know what the heck's going on you know, in our industry to some degree or another. You know, and I boosted this, you know, and it, you know, I, I'm sure I got some people following my page for it. I got some people landing on my page, looking at my other posts and could have led to people reaching out to me. Um, so that's kind of what I mean, kind of hits a nerve, strikes a nerve with them. By the way, if you put a link in your post, you're going to get a lot less traction. Facebook won't give as much exposure if you put a link in there. I'm looking for the actual, so here's another one that I did. When you do poorly or see that you missed a big opportunity because of inaction or lack of follow through or if someone, like you see, it's just talking to like the kinds of things that people in the opportunity world or you know, people that have invested in a personal development, the kinds of people that would be good ones to attract onto my page who could find my other posts and reach out to me, like they would be responding to this. And once again, interestingly enough, 107 comments. So here's the one that I was trying to get to that I was saying it's risky because you're not supposed to promote crypto related stuff, but it's been running. Uh, if you guys do run one like this, just make sure it's not the, you know, have it be pretty different wording for mine so it doesn't catch it faster. And if you have a brand new page, you know you are risking your page. They would probably, you know, they would just give me a slap on my wrist because I've run so, hopefully, because I've run so many ads that aren't crypto related. But if they saw you at a new page, especially if it was named crypto in the name of the above, like yours is Dustin, and they see that you're advertising almost everything about crypto, that's where they could like think, oh, that's all you're doing. Therefore, they're going to close your page down. So you got to be careful with that. Now oh, my page is probably going to get taken down. I just boosted two posts today that is all crypto. Well, I've noticed they've been really relaxed lately, I think, because a lot of people are leaving Facebook. <laughs> so they, they do change their policies around, but the written I mean, policy. both of them are, are videos, though. They don't really have crypto in the actual post title, but right. they're videos of crypto right. that I created. Just remember, people who don't know you and yeah. haven't following you at all, like it's hard to get, you know, this is working well because I'm referencing people's results. The first 45 days of our launch, our team has seen 8,169 Ethereum sent directly to their own wallets. Like it's very compelling, even to somebody who is not, does not know who I am because it's talking very immediately about results. Yeah. Right? So if you're not doing that, then well, it, they were more educational the two that i posted like one was talking about what actual cryptocurrency was well that could be okay you just yeah I, and I then the smart contract post that you posted i just did that into a video form and i don't know if that's against facebook's terms is to do educational stuff it's just this is opportunity this is about yeah ethereum with an opportunity so that's why it could be it but i was very careful about the wording i don't know we'll see but anyway i'm just showing you like this one's gotten like five you know i've run this for a long time let's go see what i've paid and stuff you just have to like commit to it guys like you know you're not going to hit the home run on the first swing with your ads like you get the process going and you start paying attention to what people are responding to and what they're not and that's how you you navigate towards these you know, you know, an ad that starts bringing in a lot of lead. So I spent eighty dollars over thirty-three days. So this one's I increased it because it was working. And you can see like cost per message. So I'm paying a dollar twenty-five per lead that messages me. That sends a messenger. They're clicking a button on the, you know, on the ad that puts them into my messenger. And uh, you know, a dollar twenty-five is pretty cheap for leads. But again, this is a high risk type of ad on Facebook. So it's not something I really, I just, I was just testing. I'm testing, I'm constantly testing. That's what I want other people to understand. It's, there's not a clinical prescription to this because if I tell you guys, hey guys, 
go run this ad. Uh, your accounts will get shut down because Facebook doesn't like it when we all run the exact same ad. And so we can't have a clinical prescription where like everyone runs the exact same thing on Facebook. But I discovered this by testing, you know, and I'll, I'll be testing other things. The, 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 the fundamental thing that works is always make sure, again, you're posting content, the right audience is interested in, be bold, have a lot of value-based posts, have a lot of promotional posts, some soft promotional posts where you're not doing a call to action, but you're sharing results, some direct promotional posts as direct as reach out to me if you'd like to learn how my team's making so much ease. You know what I mean? Like some super promotional, here's my, you know, reach out to me, my messenger, here's my messenger link. And if you're doing that consistently, and then you're also doing at least a dollar a day on boosted posts, and that's just a given, like what I just read you takes almost no time to maintain. And that's just like your bare bones minimum that's always running. And from there, where you put yourself into it, where you improve from there, you're at, you're, you're looking and seeing, you know, which boosted post that I tested got the greatest level of engagement. And that informs you. And you're like, let me go ahead and try another one. Let me go ahead and, you know, test a version of what Mike did, but I'll be careful not to be too big on the opportunity side. So I don't get my, you know, I'll just do something educational, but still compelling and I'll test it out and encourage people to reach out to me on messenger. If they'd like assistance, like you will try different wording. Like you're just testing all these different things until you hit your home run. But you don't even, here's the key, you don't have to find your home run ad for this all to work. Because if you do all of this, if you just do the bare minimum, if you just do the intention side of it and don't even find the perfect ad that hits a home run like this one ended up being, you'll still have people constantly reaching out to you saying, hey, I'm interested. Yes, I'd like more info. But like, you know, but if you like on Dustin's page, you went to his profile, there was no promotional post. Like if you cut that out of it, you'll get nothing. But if you do all these, there's not a lot to this. It's just, you got to do each piece. So just, I just want to clarify something, Mike. So if you run, like, let's just say this ad right here you have on your page. So you run, you have that on your business page, you promote it. Do you then copy and paste the same thing over to your personal page? So it's there at the same time? Yeah, almost, almost if not everything that's here is on my profile. Okay. But not everything on my profile is here. Do you share take the time? Do you share or do you copy and paste it from your business page to your personal page? I just copy and paste it. Okay. Oh yeah, I copy and paste it. You get much more exposure that way. Okay. And the share, yeah. So again, everything I'm going over right now is outlined in super, super detail in that cash injection group in the announcement post. Let me go back there. Uh it's it's all there and maybe kind of if you read it again you know reviewed that again after today it might some of the things might hit you a little bit more uh you know a little stronger uh but it's not that long of a post although it does lead to some other links uh that you know but again none of it really that that long um it's all basically what I went over today. It's super simple, but you do have to be consistent. You do have to be bold. You can't skip any pieces. Like again, like, you know, Dustin didn't have promotional posts, little details like that. You can't miss any of those little things, but there's not a lot to it, it but it, yeah, it, it definitely works guys. Like it just kind of obvious why it would, right? Like you're putting out content that just the right people want. Facebook's algorithms are, you know, it's a high tech AI that's designed to, bring more people to you that just engage in the kind of content that you posted. So it makes sense if you're consistent at it, you would start to have an audience of people that only know you as like that person that's leading people, you know, with this system that's helping people generate Ethereum. Like hey, three, Mike. Got a ton of people. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I just was wondering, like, I've boosted some posts and I get like a bunch of like, oh, is this is a scam? I just block them. Is that a, is that the best way to handle it? Or yeah, you wanna you wanna open up their um, their profile, you know, like so that you can then delete the comment first, and then you go to their profile that you just opened a tab up, and then you block them from there. Okay, good. Otherwise, if you block them straight from your thing from your post, you won't see their comment anymore, but it might still be there. Okay. Cause you blocked them. So like, 
And maybe Facebook has corrected that, but I've seen that before. So I now always open up a new tab with their profile. Then I delete their comment on my post. Then I go to their profile and block them. That's okay. And that helps the algorithm sort of um, bring different people to you and, and try to get rid of those kind of people. Well, you definitely want to get rid of those. Yeah, because you don't want Facebook to think, oh, these kinds of people are engaging with the content. I'll bring them more of them. Yeah, so okay. you definitely want to block, delete fast. That's right. Okay, thanks. And I, I don't know if Facebook's algorithms knows that you blocked them and therefore doesn't bring those people. I'm assuming it does, but I don't know that it does that. But it cert you certainly want to get them off of there uh -huh. for sure. So not to attract more of them. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah band delete is a common practice for advertisers <laughs> of everything so any other questions guys if you have different parts of the conveyor belt or i call it a pipeline that first part we, we focus a lot on today is attracting the right kinds of leads to you like putting the right kind of content out there boosting posts you have that foundational process that you should always be doing and then on top of that, you're just, if you want to improve, you're just kind of starting to notice, hey, what are people responding to most? I'll do more of that. What are people responding to on Mike's page? Let me try that. Like you're, you're putting a little bit more heart and intention into it, right? But initially, you're just doing like the baseline, always doing the minimum baseline. But to significantly improve, you're starting to pay attention and making adjustments and testing things. If you start to get to that point, it's not hard to do, it just takes like, effort, like the, the, the intention to succeed, you're going to start to have consistent off, awesome results. And that's going to get leads coming to you. That's the beginning of the conveyor belt. That's the beginning of the pipeline. From there, it's easy. From there, it's like sending the two videos. You maybe go, what, what's the next audio you send, Mike? Like you're, you're going to ask the right questions and figure out what to do real quick when you've got people coming to you. I have a quick question and I think I know the answer to it. So let me just tell you it. So, <laughs> so when you're talking about, I'm going to go back to like actual conversations about when you're offering the like slow lane, the middle lane and the fast lane. Yeah. When you're talking to people about that situation, how do you, I noticed you said that a lot of people come in. At, I heard that when you were doing one of them, that a lot of people come in at level six. How do you make that like, so it's almost like beneficial for them because it is beneficial for them to come in at a higher level versus level one, especially with it fluctuating and going um, over 2000. Cause I noticed like, and it could be because I'm attract, I'm attracting right now, those type of people, which then again, I need to switch over. So. Um, well, well, first of all, I always, do you yeah. always send this? Okay. Do you always send something like this? Yeah. Where it says slow lane, middle lane, fast lane. Yeah. And so I always send that. And then second of all, in my audio message to them in mess, do you use audio message and messenger? Yes. Okay. So in my audio message and messenger, I'll say, so here's the different levels you can come in at. There's actually higher levels, but you don't need to come in at the higher levels. We can work our way without any more out-of-pocket expense. You can, we can work our way to the higher paying levels. I just want to ask okay. some question, Jordan. Yeah. I'm still working up to where, you know, the, the, to really pinpoint the answer to your question, but do you also all have them all watch the webinar that I send out where they, you get to this point with them? So I send the two videos before even talking about this first. Yeah. And you, and you make sure they actually watched them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So good, because then they would have already seen all these different levels and stuff like this won't be new terminology to them at this point. That's yeah. Right. Okay. So then I'm saying, uh, the slow, we call it the slow lane. Oh, well, I, let me back up. I say, so the next step, I just need, I need to know what level you're coming in at because the level you're coming in at impacts which affiliate link I send you. Oh. So if you come in at, let's say a level three in the middle lane, I'm going to send you a different affiliate link to sign up at in my team than if you're coming in at level six, because that's the fast lane. And then I say, come in wherever you're comfortable coming in. Like I always mm -hmm. make 
super clear because I don't want people feeling any anxiety. Like it's their decision. I don't know where they're yeah. at. I don't know what's going on. So I just, I want them to know that that's because that's, that's on them for whatever they're comfortable with. But just know that if you come in at a level three, you know, you're going in a different leg, a middle lane that we call the middle lane because you're further from those higher paying levels that pay high levels of Ethereum. So it's just going to take a little longer to get to like level 10 that pays 12.8 E per sale. Uh. And say, so if you're able to start in the fast lane, like at level six, you know, then I'll send you that affiliate link and say, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but my intention will be to help you get a sale at level six. Cause when you get a six underneath you, that's going to give you enough Ethereum to go to seven. And now you're like already at the high paying levels of E. So it's just a lot faster. Okay. I go, so start from where you want to start, but just know the high, if you start at a higher level, like in the fast lane, you're just going to be able to make a lot more Ethereum a lot faster. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the wording is, yeah. I just needed to make sure I'm like wording it nicely. Right. Um, you know, sure. I do, I do make sure that they come in wherever they, wherever they're comfortable with. Right. And I've had a few come in at level one. And then I had like a few more conversations where people want to come in at level one. So I just felt like maybe I was attracting those, um, like an, whatever type of post I'm putting out must be attracting those level ones, which I don't mind at all, but I want to make sure I'm not just, I want to make sure I'm giving the best education for them. So they're not getting stuck at level one and having to go that slow route. Do you have anybody in your team now that could help with onboarding? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Then if somebody comes back and says, I'm going to come in at level one, what I do and what I would suggest you do. Mm -hmm. say, okay. Awesome. Um, I don't actually, you know, work directly with anyone who comes in at level one, cause it's a, it's a little too slow of a pace for me, mm -hmm. but I have someone in my team kind of moving at that slower pace. I'm going to introduce you to. Okay. She, perfect. Yeah. And you'll still be able to work with me, but you'll work more with her because it's a little bit slower pace. Okay. A lot of times you'll say that and I'll go, well, maybe I'll come in at level. What do I got to do to work with you? Level three. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Uh, any other questions, guys? These are great questions. Uh, I have one more. Um, sorry. Did someone jump in? No, I was just gonna say, this is so valuable. I'm, I'm so glad you've taken the time to do this and, and that Absolutely. you're covering it. Yeah, I was going to ask um, what is some of, what are some of the key um, audience like words you use when you're boosting a post besides like Bitcoin or Ethereum or crypto? Is there anything else that you? I, I actually don't boost a lot of posts that are crypto. I guess what I was trying to communicate, and I don't know oh, I see. really well with you guys. I'm not against you testing and trying things. Like I think okay. it was Jordan that was saying she's got some educational crypto type videos that she's testing in her ads. I love to hear that. I just I want you to know what I what I do most with the boosted posts is I try to find posts that are inspiring to the network okay. marketing audience because that's a, emotional, okay. and you're going to like get a lot cheaper engagement and Facebook's going to show the ad to a lot more people for a cheaper price, which is really what you're after. Okay. You, that makes more sense now. I, for some reason I kept thinking I had to I boost mean, my crypto. But if Jordan can get an educational video, I think it's harder to do, but you could totally do it. That is like getting really good, you know, low cost engagement. You have to understand like if your ads getting a lot more engagement, like a lot more likes. I think you guys know this, but just in case that you don't know this, if your post is getting a lot more engagement, like hundreds of times, at least tens of times more people will see it for the same price. Okay. And so, yeah, you really want to think about, okay, what's an emotionally like inspiring type post to the network marketing audience. That's not too generic. So they actually, you know, come to my page and it's not just some like random inspirational post that doesn't mean anything to them. You know what I mean? Like go, go to my page, roll down my business page and you're going to see posts that have huge engagement. Those are the ones I advertise. That's how you know. Okay. So, so the ones that you do that with, so you're doing network marketers, um, team, team building, 
Yeah, um, and, and maybe someone here knows where to go on the cash injection group because I actually like took a snapshot. I think of my oh, you did. Businesses. Oh, I didn't see that. Does any did anyone else see that? I right. feel like I've gone through it a lot, but right. I didn't. Did you out the audiences that, that I was at, suggesting to advertise to. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, oh, you did? Okay, I didn't. I see mean, because I can go off my memory. I just, you know, I, I, I don't want to miss any. I, yeah, network marketers is one of them, but there's a lot of others in there. I'll go look. Don't worry about it. I'll go look and yeah, find I can, it. I can share you because I basically copied his and then added a few. Oh, more. okay. So yeah, I can that was one of my biggest things. I had no idea you had that on there. Okay. That's another thing you can test and play with. Like, again, guys, once you have the base running, like I was saying to Dustin, like, don't ever turn them off. I always have like a base running. Otherwise you're not being informed. It's right. like, that's the other thing to this is like, because I always have it going, when I check in, I learn so much and it, tells me what to test next and you start like finding what really gets great results but if you turn them off you lose that connection to that you're not being informed by that anymore and it's like you have to start over from scratch you know what i mean because it, re it really is about everything i talked about today plus you're being informed and we're all a little bit different personalities and stuff right like we have a lot of commonalities between us or we wouldn't you know be entrepreneurial and stuff, but and interested in crypto. So there's a lot of commonality between us. We talked a lot about the importance of attracting people with those commonalities so that they're good prospects. But the other side of this is we're all unique. And that's where it's like, you don't want this to get too clinical because you guys are going to attract, like when you get really niche about it, the types of prospects you attract will be slightly different than the types of prospects I attract. There'll be subtle differences, but significant ones because they'll relate to like what's going on in your life. They'll be more like you. You know what I mean? Like, like if you're a mom, you're going to attract a lot more moms than me. Doesn't It doesn't mean like it's always going to be that way, but as a trend, which is, you know, when you're advertising and you're doing marketing, like it's the trends that really pay off. That's what's going to be what starts to happen. So the way you word things, you know, like you might see a post that I did and go, okay, he got a lot of results on this. Let me play with that a little bit and make it a little bit more my own and test it out. And you might start attracting like really good results with it. It might even get better results for you than it did for me and be something that you keep running with for a long time because it's building your page. Because it just so happens that that post and the way you kind of put your own touch on it is speaking to you. Sometimes it's even possible to reverse engineer and explain. It just works for you. And, it, and it's subtle stuff, but this is a people thing, right? Marketing is a people thing. Everything about our business is a people thing. And so that's the other side of this. And that's why... A lot of people, they dabble with this and they don't ever like really see it work because they're not fully doing it. You have to fully enter into it. You have to keep it going. And then, you know, for like at least 45 days and it will start building up there. And then you need to like pay attention to which boosted posts are doing better than others and then try to figure out why. And that's going to lead you to know what to test next. Like it has to get there. And if it does, and you trust that process, like I haven't seen anyone not get there where it's like, wow, like all of a sudden I have all these people reaching out to me and like life is never the same. Like it just, and I really don't know how you build this kind of business without that. Like, it just seems so hard. You know, when I look at how most people are like wondering where their next prospect's going to come from. So I feel like this is really the piece like to just commit to because it's life-changing in and of itself, like not just for what we're doing right now, but for every opportunity ever forward, you'll know how to do it once you start doing it. But doesn't it just make sense? Like if you have it all going and you have these boosted posts and you're paying attention to which ones are getting better results and then you're testing another one and then another one, you see how very quickly you start to like narrow down. Like you start to find a boosted post that for whatever reason for you and your personality and your page and however you worded it, uh, you're just you're paying very little for engagement. So you just keep that one running. Oh, you keep the same one running? If it's getting great results, absolutely. Oh, okay. So that just keeps growing your page, you see? And then you test that against another one. So now you're spending $2 a day. One's working great. And you see if you can find even a better one or you have two that are both working great. You can start to see how this starts to become really powerful, but you have to get to that point. Like that was key. That was key information right there for me. Yeah. You don't want to turn off an ad that's working. In fact, that's why you always have one running. You have your best one running. And if you just started out, your best one was the first one, but like, then you test it against something else. 
And you notice, wow, this one seems to be like I'm paying half as much for the same engagement. And I'm actually getting some comments and a few messages here and there. I think I'll drop the other one and run this one instead. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, again, it's not rocket science. Like you just want to run the best one. You know what I mean? And then, yeah. and then, uh, you know, just always have one running and then always be testing against it to see if you can find one even a little bit better. Okay. I had a lot, like I had different ones running because I thought that's what we were supposed you to do, but do I didn't even. First. You can do that at first to see, like, like I ran like three or four at a dollar each. And right, right away, within three days, so I should drop three of them, right? And I kept the best one. Okay, I just didn't even think to do just one over and over again if it was doing really well. Absolutely. So I do want to say one thing on this comparing which ones are doing better. Like sometimes you'll put out a more targeted message, like let's say a crypto education message like Jordan was talking about. And mm -hmm. it may get less exposure, but maybe it's bringing like a more targeted person to you. And you got to factor mm -hmm. that in. Like I might pay a lot more. I might be running an ad and like, I'm thinking that's a pretty targeted message. Like these are people who love crypto are in network marketing and like, and it's kind of inspiring. Who knows, but I might look at the message and go, people responding to that are really good, probably people to be, you know, talking to, but I'm paying three times as much as let's say a post that's kind of a generic inspirational post. I uh, might, so I might keep both running but just don't get confused and think, oh, the inspirational post is definitely better because I'm, you know, I'm only paying, I'm paying three times less and I'm getting a lot of like likes. Like that's one type of lead you want to keep going. Like I was talking about earlier, but there is something to be said about having maybe a more targeted type message, maybe more around crypto that may not do as well in terms of exposure, but maybe attracting high quality people. So maybe if you found like a, a an ad that was doing decently around the crypto education area, maybe also speaking to network marketers, uh, and it, maybe you're paying more than you are another post you're running that is more inspirational and emotion, on an emotional end and more a little bit more generic maybe, uh, you might keep them both running for $2. You know what I mean? Like just keep that in mind that sometimes there's messaging that might be bringing a more targeted lead and you do have to, if we're more expensive, you don't, sometimes you're comparing apples to oranges when you're, you know, comparing two ads. You got to keep that in mind too. I hope I'm not getting too complicated. You honestly, intuitively figure this stuff out. If you just do the baseline that I've taught, I've just been trying so hard to get the community, just do the baseline. Like if you just do what I taught and then you let that run and then you just start asking yourself questions, like how can I improve this? Like you you can't fail. It's just a lot of people will kind of do what Dustin did. And I understand it, like they enter into it and then they kind of turn it off. And it's like, then you don't ever get to that point where you're like starting to compare and contrast ads to each other and asking these more nuanced questions. Once you get to that point, like you'll start to find your niche posts, your niche boost posts. You'll start asking really high quality questions about what you're doing. And it's like real fast, like how you, once you get on that track, how fast you start attracting really quality people because your message is just resonating with them and Facebook's algorithms are firing on your behalf and increasing the exposure of just the right people because you're putting out just the right content. It starts to all really pick up fast once you enter into that. Well, I have a question with that since we're going with that. That's what I pretty much started with is like where my target audience would be. Well, you don't and I noticed when you said, you don't think about it, right? Like you're, you're letting the responses to the posts and testing tell you instead oh, okay. of in your head. Well, I, I mean, I know you just, you said that people forget that they talk to you and then they Google you, which was where my question was going is that I kind of already started to target an audience. Like my page says the crypto moms club. So should I make sure it's my name and not that? And then do the no, posted post to figure out who my target actual target audience would I be? I don't know if you know Robin Lynn, but she would spend two hours answering you on that and thinks it's super important. And I just don't. Okay. You know, it's like, <laughs> I really just don't think about that that much. Like, I don't want the name of your page to, to uh, like be something ridiculous, but like, if it's not like, that's not, I just don't think about it. It's like, it's about the content on the boosted post. You know what I mean? I think that's all past previous network marketing that's been 
programmed into my brain to think that I would need that. So that's why I started with that. Yeah. But it makes more sense what you're saying, because now I could be getting not just women, but I could be getting men. I, you know, I, I could be getting a whole range of people without really realizing. So I should redo that. I mean, that's why I always just put my name. Yeah. But again, I don't, I, I just want to make sure, I, I don't think that this is like, a, there's a, I don't think there's a definite right answer for that question. And I think, and a lot of people will cite on, you know, brand yourself instead of using your name, like crypto mom or something like that. And I, I don't know that, that that wouldn't also work better, but I'm just saying. Like but that, that goes with what I was saying before is I felt detached from my page. Right. So, so that makes more sense of when it's all clicking. So I appreciate yeah, it. I like, and I like using my name because then it's more versatile, right? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I don't know if Facebook is doing it now, but there was a time where they could penalize you just for putting crypto in your in the name, you know, as they were assessing like what your page was. Really? About. I don't know that they're doing that now though, but they were there was a time where they did that. Yeah, that's why I was surprised when I saw Jordan, your page and also Dustin, because I thought you guys knew, but they probably they may not be doing that anymore. I mean, yeah, I mean crypto is so popular mainstream now you know yeah. and I, so i think they might have changed their policy i think they've loosened their policies on this but I, I don't think they changed their written policies but i think they've loosened their policies drastically since it's become more mainstream because everyone's talking about crypto now yeah it's on everybody's tongue exactly I, this is this the post that you talked about with the audience because i could tag everybody in that in cash injection oh, what's it say i'm Go ahead and read part of it. Sure. For those following the ad strategy I posted about recently, below is another snapshot of another post that I have just set up to slightly different audience to prep my page for the marketing funnel launch. I mean, in the I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I, I think that's one that I linked to in that announcement post. Yeah, there's a link. Yeah. Do you want me to tag everybody in there? Sure. Yeah, let me tag everyone. But, but again, I think they would be led to that from the announcement posts. So let me go, you know, like here's the cash injection group, this announcement post right here, mm -hmm. which is the main post. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that what you just showed there is one of these links. Oh, it's probably, that's one of the links that you're saying is in here. I'm assuming so. It's the one that ends with 50-50 is the number. I, I'm not sure. I just know I packed everything in here to set somebody up from mindset to how to look at this to even what target audience to put in their boosted post ad mm -hmm. and i'm assuming there's a link to that but but you could tag them yeah tag them so they can see what you're looking at there okay i i have a feeling i'm going to stay up pretty late tonight working on my business page i realized how important really i've been missing out on doing that i mean again it's just the difference between attracting versus like wondering where your next prospects are going to come from right like i never wonder i've always got way more than i'll ever be able to reach out to yeah i mean i have some from just the following i've built over the years but it's not nearly it's not nearly enough of a lead coming you know the funnel yeah. coming in. like joy you and i were talking the other day and i know probably everybody's heard the, this you know that in network marketing it's about posturing well, I mean, not just in network marketing, in business and entrepreneurship, uh, it's about posturing, meaning, you know, that people, you're able to position yourself in such a way where people see you as a valuable resource, you know, that they need, as opposed to you're selling them, that you're trying to persuade them. Instead, because, just because of the, of the way your mindset is and, and the way that, that, that you communicate, they just simply know that they want to find out more about what you're doing and join you in it. And, you know, they call it posturing, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel, I always felt like teaching posturing was almost impossible. It's like fog or getting your hands around the fog. Like, what does that mean if you don't already have it? But what I'm trying to get at is when you do all of this and you're attracting leads to you, you can't help but have proper posturing. It's like when I have 300 people out to me and someone's like trying to reach me five or six times it's like i'm not trying to look like i'm super good at what i do it's like obvious to them that i've got more people who want to do business with me than i have time to do business with therefore they better be on their best behavior 
<laughs> right? If they ask me really stupid questions, they know I'm not following up. You know, that's posturing, but I don't have to like try to posture to create that. When you, that's why I say, if you guys focus on this, you have all these people reaching out to you, it puts you in a fantastic position just to get to kind of pick and choose who you want to answer, who you want to work with, and they can feel energetically the posturing. You know what I mean? That you're a valuable resource that has something that they probably want without you having to like pretend from posture. <laughs> you guys are a great group of people. I, I, you know, if you have fun with this, and I think also if you see like what we were talking about today is super valuable, not just here and now, but like forever, you know, and really kind of commit to it and get excited about what that would be like, uh, you know, I don't think anything can stop you. I appreciate all this because I've gone through that post that that one that Joy's tagging us now. I've gone through that a few times, but just okay. this one, this just it's all clicking all of a sudden. So I yeah, appreciate yeah. the fact that you've taken time out of your your schedule to do this. Absolutely. I agree. And do, do I have your permission to share this with other people as part of a training? I don't know if I will, but it's, since you guys are all on video, I thought I better ask. I'm good with I'm it. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Mike, will you post it in of the cash injector subgroup, like the one I put together where you're in? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, I need to kind of figure out if I should just redo it for the whole community or you know what I mean? But if I do share it, yeah, I would share it in the cash injection group. Oh, but I'm saying after this, will you be sending it to me as well? Oh, yeah, so I can send it to you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll put it in your guys's group. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Great. Thank you. This was awesome. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Any, any lingering questions? Like last lingering <laughs> question? <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Thank you again. Absolutely. Thank you so yeah. much. Absolutely. Any questions that come up after this, you know, I'd be, you might start diving in and something comes to mind. Just ask it in that group that you guys are all in. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. I'll see you on, you'll get to see me next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just be a PS. <laughs> right, Bye. G'day guys. Welcome back again. Now, hopefully, uh, uh, what Mike shared um, um, from his experiences uh, definitely helped you. I look forward to helping you. Uh, look forward to connecting with you and helping you out and coming part as a team with myself and Mike. And uh, we help you with uh, learning the aspects of uh, how to attract that uh, particular market that you want to attract and without uh, feeling like you need to go to your family and friends because uh, these other places um, you can go and get passive income from but you don't know if they're going to be here today and gone tomorrow anyway guys please get back to me if you've got your questions in the comments and play, please make sure you subscribe and also press, uh, click the bell, smash the bell so you can get my regular updates. I look forward to bringing you more results and how we are uh, building um, our Ethereum, Bitcoin and whatever other cryptocurrencies. I'm just sharing. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing what we do. And we support you if you want to be part of the team and you do what you do. So we look forward to connecting with you again. Take care, guys, and have a great day, night, afternoon, morning, no matter where you are around the world.